What's up you guys and welcome back to another vlog. All right, you guys, let's get into the vlog. Your girl been MIA for like a week. I haven't had any type of motivation to pick up the camera. Like, I'm gonna keep blaming the pregnancy because it's most definitely the pregnancy. I'm not depressed or anything, but I have no motivation, no drive. Like, I ain't been standing on no type of business. You know what I mean? Like, time is dwindling down and deadlines are needing to be met. And I ain't even, you know, standing on business. Like, I made a video maybe like a week or two ago about me getting Ziana lab done. I haven't done that. And now I'm thinking about it like, oh my God, school is almost around the corner. Like really, really, really around the corner. It's, today is like the 23rd or something like that. And I believe she go back July, I mean August 13th or something like that. And they did warn me if I didn't have these paperwork in with her, you know, dental records and her labs in. Well, her labs is part of her physical. They want a physical. Which she's already went in April. So it's not she's not due to be seen again. So in order for them to fill it out and for it to be completed, I need those lab results. And y'all, I could have did it today. But like I said, I just don't have no motivation. Like, I'm being real transparent. I know it's probably people probably think the worst of me. Like, oh, my God, you're just a lazy, lazy pregnant girl, which I am. Like, and I take accountability. It's just I don't know how to shake it. Like, I really don't know how to shake it. And there's no excuse. Like, I should have been got her labs done. And on top of that. We haven't got the keys to move in yet. I thought I was moving last week on the 18th and called the office and they said they're still waiting on people on their end to approve my move, which I think they're just trying to buy time. I think the lady bit off more than she can chew. Like I said, she was in a newer position and she don't know what I can and can't do because she the one who promised me that I could move in two weeks in advance and they would waive the rent. You know, they wouldn't prorate my rent or anything. They would just... You know, let me take my time and move when that is not even the case right now. Like, um, it seemed like they're waiting for August 1st to give me my keys. And that's going to be a rush job. Like, I got to get movers and helpers and stuff in place for that. And on top of that, with me being pregnant, y'all. <laughs> It just seemed like my house is just super cluttered. Like, I've taken everything out of every compartment that it's supposed to be in. Like, the bathroom I'm in right now is currently a box on the floor full of miscellaneous things that were under the cabinets. My baby hair stuff. Like, I'm about to touch up some of my braids because I'm not, I don't have time to go get my hair did at this point. Then, like, School is coming. Like, I don't know why I let this do this to myself every year. This ain't got nothing to do with the pregnancy. It's just, I don't know why I think that they start the same time as Ziana starts. But I think my boys go back before Ziana starts. So with Zamir's birthday being this weekend, I'm going to have to go school shopping last minute next week, you know, to get them together. And then, like, still turn up with Zamir this weekend. Spend hella cash on him this weekend. And it's like, he got his gifts from Amazon. I got a few more stuff off the registry from some of my YouTube fam members. Um, I'm going to share that with you guys today. I'm supposed to be going to the mall, like, so I can find Zamir some shoes and maybe a cute, you know, outfit for him to wear on his birthday. Like, I'm just super, super last minute beating myself up. Mom guilt. I'm doing the best I can. So, I, I mean, without me being, you know, stuck in this no motivation mode, like to do anything, like I haven't even fully finished packing. I don't even have time to to freaking sit down and pack. All I want to do is lay around and snack on stuff. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. Like, I feel really bad even admitting this to y'all. Like, I really do. It's like, I feel so 
overwhelmed and I felt it this morning laying in bed and do you think that dread me to get up out of bed and get on my ish no I still sat there so I finally go to the car to get the paperwork that I need to to see if I can schedule a Ziana appointment at the nearest lab core y'all they all close at three o'clock I don't get home until 2 30 like this is I go to work tomorrow so I can't get her labs done this week until next Monday. And I'll probably have to be a walk-in because they don't have any appointments available. But they accept walk-in. So I'm thinking about getting up bright and early and going there. Hopefully they can fit me in and I can get that going. On top of that, okay, it's the mere birthday, us moving, school starting back. I'm not buying lunch boxes. They still got them Ami boxes from last year and their backpacks are um, still in excellent excellent condition because I went and got them some real nice backpacks last year. They got Adidas backpacks and they're really in great shape. So I don't have to worry about that and I'm not gonna worry myself about that. But um, with school and then right after them starting school is Delante's birthday. And then blessings should be arriving. Like, I'm 30 weeks today, you guys. Like, I'm 30 weeks today. <sighs> oh, my God. Like, stress is an understatement. Like, I really... My mom keeps offering the help, you know, like, with the packing. I don't expect my mom to haul anything down the stairs for me. But... Like, I haven't even really gave my full undivided attention to just packing. Like, my room ain't been packed. Like, that's the main thing. Like, the kids' room is somewhat okay. It's already, I already, like, threw away most of the stuff that I want to throw away. But it's hard to pack for them because they're still playing and utilizing their toys that they do have. Like, they have a huge plush collection. I would like to just pack them all up and put them in a box, but... That ain't gonna go so well with them. And then like, as far as my closet and my bedroom, they haven't been touched. Um, I feel like I'm bouncing all over the place, y'all. I'm so sorry, like, oh, I hate these sit down vlogs. But I ain't got ish going on today. Like, I like, y'all know I'm spoiled. I like to say <laughs> that I'm spoiled in, in many ways. and. One of the ways that I'm spoiled is I don't, I have the luxury of leaving my kids behind when I want to run errands. And I really, 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 really want to go to the mall. <coughs> and there's usually always somebody at my mom or my sister's house. But them little heifers is gone. My mama is there by herself. So she, I wanted her to be my road dog and ride with me to the mall while I leave my kids there. And my niece, I was going to throw her some cash. And have her watch them while I go to the mall because I'm not taking them with me. It, I, I won't even be able to stress in peace. I said stress in peace. <laughs> I won't even be able to shop in peace if I have to bring all three of my children with me. Zamir is still asleep. He, I don't know how to break this because, yeah, summer's over pretty much. Y'all gonna be starting school. I need to get y'all back on a, you know, structured schedule. And that's starting with bath times and bedtime and right now we're it's non-existence and zamir just sleeps all freaking day and stays up all freaking night like literally he puts me to bed every night faithfully because i can't hang like he'd be up real real, real like i don't even know what time he goes to bed but i do know the days i go to work i see him wait wide awake and i have to tell him to go to bed before i go to work and stuff and i don't even know if he really do but we got to get that under control. And it's just like, my I can't go to the mall right now because my sister and my niece aren't available to help watch out, look after the kids. And like I said, I want to take my mom with me. I could go by myself. I don't like shopping by myself. I need somebody there for opinions and stuff like that. And it ain't going to be too, too hard. Because the difference is living from back home is huge here. So it's multi-malls, multi-locations of, you know, options where I can find him something to wear for his birthday. 
um, back home. It's like one freaking mall that has little to nothing in there. So, of course, it's going to be hard to find your kids' shoe size or sizes and particular items and clothing. Um, so, yeah, y'all, that's what I'm doing today. Nothing else. Like, I wanted to go to the lab core and go to the mall and can't go to lab core and the mall is almost looking non-existent as well but the mall stays open till nine so maybe my niece will be back before then and i can throw her a couple bucks to watch the kids so me and my mom can run to the mall and then tomorrow is wednesday so i can go tomorrow after work as well and thursday and friday but i would love for me to do his hair tomorrow so his dad can take him Thursday to get a lining. Um, Y'all know my son has locks, so I would love him to have a nice lining with, you know, his locks retwisted. And um, we still don't really know where we're going for his birthday, but we'll figure that up, figure that all out in the next few days. I do have a couple options in mind. I just don't know which one he would rather prefer or you know. So, me trying to be consistent, I just picked up the camera and was just like, girl, vlog something. Let, let them know what's going on. And right now, I'm freaking stressed. Um, I'm going to start on my hair. I probably, I don't know if I'm going to, don't pay attention to that, them towels on my dang thing. But, oh yeah, we had Popeye's last night, thinking Taco Tuesday, since it's Tuesday um for dinner tonight Diana been pestering me she wants chicken so here babe i'm gonna give her this chicken the lighting is horrible my house is so cluttered i want to open up these items because as soon as i did that registry vlog for you guys items came in a few more items came in i need to go check the mail because i got a feeling that that Care Bear dress was um, a U.S. postal delivery instead of like UPS or Amazon because it's not here. But I do recall her telling me that they should have came this Monday and yesterday was Monday and it didn't come. And then one of my other YouTube family members let me know she purchased Blessing something and it would be here today and it has came. And I want to set y'all up. Let me see. Everything is so cluttered, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm going to apologize in advance. For all my cleanly. Yeah, that's your chicken, baby. Uh, this is Zamir's stuff. I won't open that with you guys. But this is Zamir's. And I think the other one is probably... Mom. What? This for his birthday. Um, I got one more thing for Zamir. It's um, I think it's in the mailbox. And then this is Zamir's. So these are all Zamir's gifts for his birthday. And y'all, I didn't get him a backdrop because I was just thought I was thinking that we were gonna be moved. What? On the birthday cake. I'm gonna get him a birthday cake. She just reminded me I need to order him a birthday cake. Um, my sister did say I could decorate her house, so I'll probably just go get him, you know, a plane. Cause I save all these um, backdrops just cause they just I don't feel the need to throw them away because they're not damaged. So he does have a Sonic one that I used a few years ago that I'll probably use and just get a plane you know, tablecloth, cups and stuff and decorate my sister's house um, for the time being till we figure out. Bless and moving. 30 weeks, y'all. 30 weeks, I am out there. Whew. Belly, belly, belly. Game. Belly. <laughs> huh? So yeah, y'all. I gotta figure that out about Zamir birthday, his shenanigans and stuff. So this is something that was fancy. And I think I was just anxious opening up the gifts um, on the last video because there is 
something that says who it's from and stuff. I found them. Oh, um, no more Bobby house. It doesn't say. Oh, it does. It says, Congratulations on your new bundle of joy. May God continue to bless you and the family. Enjoy your gift from Spicy Shauna Gang. Thanks, Spicy Shauna. No, you mean. We love you. Thank you so you much. Mean, you mean okay, this is cute. Y'all. <laughs> My mom was just saying, like, unisex stuff has to be masculine. You know what I mean? So it can fit a girl or a boy. So if push come to shove, if it's a boy, we're good. But if it's a girl, I'm going to need to get bows for most of these outfits because I do think they look a little masculine. And they're big. I might have a chunky, chunky baby, but this is so cute. Look at this. So a little girl can wear this with like a white bow. Stop playing with me. Some little Air Force Ones. Cause yeah, I'm having a fall baby. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Shana. Thank you, Shana, girl. And she bought one more thing. I'm gonna have to go check the mail to see if that Care Bear dress came. Wait. She gonna be wearing that to school. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Yeah, you're supposed to have the Care Bear dress. Wait. Oh, <laughs> cute. Look at this. I'll get a black bow if it's a girl, you know what I mean? This is cute. Thank you, Shauna. See how I just tore that open? I'm pretty sure that was from Shauna. Yeah, it got y'all government. I ain't going to say y'all government because the other YouTube family member who purchased stuff, I like to call her Sh Siobhan. I think I be calling her that because that's what it says on her YouTube tag. But on her actual gift receipt, it says something else. I'm not gonna, you know, disclose their private information. So, thank you, ladies. Well, thank you, Shauna, because that's from Shauna. Okay, y'all, and this came too from their other YouTube auntie. It's so soft. And my mama said, oh, that's for a little boy right away. And I said, Mom, this could be for a little girl. Or I know, I think she said this for a little girl. But this is unisex. It's a, it's a giraffe. It's super soft, you guys. So I'm going to wash all these clothes when I get some baby draft. So it could be ready and prepared. Mom, you can do, I got to get a pet. You can do a kind of wash Yes, baby. <laughs> I don't know what she said. But, but here, y'all. So these are the two. These are the three items that I got. Bless it, got a nice little starter kit going. I bought this for Zamir too. I'll show y'all this. That's a red bottle. It's a water bottle. Yeah, so like this. He like this? Shh, I'm not gonna tell him. He's gonna be using this for school. It kinda matches his um, Omni Box lunch box. If you think about it, I'm gonna get latte, a plain one. But here go they lunch boxes from last year, so I felt like it would go pretty well with it. Even though it got orange, it's still gonna go. Y'all know my baby Sonic crazy. So yeah, y'all, that's everything. That I'm gonna show y'all for right now. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all this. Um, a coworker, well, my supervisor from my old supervisor from third shift, bought this. Like, my niece was like, "Is this trying to tell me something?" Because everything does come off boyish to me, just a tad bit. But I mean, that's what you get when you don't know the sex of your baby. You have to keep it unisex. I don't want super girly stuff. And then it'd be a boy. You know what I mean? So, I feel like we're in a win-win situation. And that's why I'm not buying, like, a huge haul 
of unisex stuff because the minute baby comes out and you know you get time to yourself to just chill in the hospital i will be ordering said sex whatever if it's a girl i'll order girl stuff and if it's a boy i'll just order more boyish like that's my plan like i've never done this before there's not a handbook on how to prepare for a baby that you don't know the sex for so i'm just winging it and if you have any advice just drop it down in the comments for your girl because i'm always open to people's opinions and advice okay and i know i think i showed y'all my other co-worker did this really cute um diaper cake but some of the stuff is missing our kids been meddling with it but yeah, I got that. And then I got baby wipes. So I'll probably just be buying my own diapers at this point. I haven't received any pack of diapers. And it ain't cheap. So I can understand, you know what I mean? But I feel like I'm talking way, way, way too much. Um, I think I'm about to work on my hair. And my hair. Yeah, I do. I gotta do. That's another thing I gotta do. Zayana's hair. I gotta do Samir's hair. I gotta do my hair. My mom's pestering me. Zante don't need his hair did, but he's bugging me too because his hair has grown out. He wants his starter locks before school. Like, oh my god, y'all! I cannot wait till maternity leave. Like, I just cannot. This is just, this is too much for your girl. You know, it's just simply too much. Like I said. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm really overwhelmed. Like, for real, for real. It's just a lot going on. But, Mom. yes. I gotta get balloons? Yeah. Okay, baby. But, um, I'm about to set this camera up, or I might just pick up when I figure out if we're going to the mall or not. I do gotta go to Walmart, probably pick you guys up at Walmart. I've done plenty of videos with me doing Taco Tuesday. I might even do nachos because I don't feel like flipping no shells. That's how lazy I am, y'all. I, I have not been cooking or cleaning as I should, y'all. I just, I've been in a funk. I've been in a funk. Don't, you can have your opinion about me, but it is what it is, love. Like, I'm going to get it together. Hopefully sooner than later. I'll get back with y'all in a moment. Okay, you guys, I decided to jump in on this voiceover because it's been days since I've actually filmed this. And I had time to, you know, marinate and think. And today I woke up, decided that I will no longer stress over things that are out of my control. Like, I literally have to repeat that over and over in my head. You know, people will be people, you know, jobs will be jobs. But one thing for sure, my God will be God. And he got us, okay? So, I just let my stress away and I feel much better than I did yesterday. Let's just say that. And it's just going to have to take one day at a time. Okay, now let's get into this hair. I got plenty of new growth. You know, your hair grows really fast when you're pregnant, taking prenatals and things of that nature. <laughs> and I know y'all about tired of me in these braids. I'm tired of me in these braids, but it's my go-to style that I feel comfortable doing it on myself. And after the years, I've gotten really better at doing it. I haven't tried it without the rubber band method. I just feel like my grip isn't strong enough, but that's because I haven't practiced. But now that I didn't found out my neighbor does, you know, styles other than braids, I definitely will be going to see him in the very, very near future. I'm just not sure if I'm going to go before labor or after. My mom called in the middle of me trying to get this footage, but I only got two braids done, y'all. It looks really, 
really good compared to everything else. Oh, but come on. I'm gonna just have to come back and finish. But my mom was just calling me to let me know my niece and my sister are home. And I asked her, would she watch the kids? And she said, yeah. So I had to wrestle Samir up out the bed. And we finna go downstairs. I have to go with my head just like this. I'd rather go surf um, the mall now than figure out what I can and can't buy from there and then try a different mall tomorrow if push come to shove. But I ain't gonna put too much pressure on this because I gotta like buy school clothes. So I'm just buying him something so he could look nice this weekend for his birthday. And I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. This is part of today's day in life. Move, little girl. I gotta do your hair. No, you hair. Yeah, I gotta do all three of our heads, and my mama wanna throw herself in it too. She need her hair to be twisted. Um, mommy. I got a busy week. Wait, what? But I am going to enjoy my Monday, Tuesdays when my kids go back to school. And I was hoping to really have an extra car by now so I don't have to Uber her to school. Diana! So I didn't have to Uber her to school because that's another expense. Like her dad uses Uber, she uses Uber. We need two vehicles. And all the money we spending on Ubers could be invested in a car note on a whole new vehicle. I'm just like a huge procrastinator. I'm just not even gonna lie to y'all. So, yeah, so I don't know why I'm making myself more stressed because I just thought of that, God dang it. Uh, Uber and lunches like so the grocery intake is gonna increase and the Uber expense is gonna be added because we'll start it back. It was nice saving those coins on lunches and Ubers. <sighs> Something's gonna change. <laughs> change is gonna come. <laughs> I'm sweating bad, y'all. This bathroom ain't really that ventilated. Fan ain't even doing what it's supposed to. Okay, baby, you right. I am talking too much, so I'll see y'all when we get to the mall. Okay, y'all, we've made it to the mall. This is like one of my fave malls because it's the closest to my house. And it kind of gives me a feel for back home. Like back in 2005 or 20. 2000, I can even take it back that far when, you know, my back home, my hometown mall used to be popping. Like it had a nice food court and, you know, plenty of variety of stores other than just shoe stores. Like it kind of reminds me of that. So I think that's why I really gravitate to this mall. And it also has a section that kind of looks like seven mile fair and like i said if you're not from wisconsin you probably don't know what i'm talking about but it's kind of like um a flea market i don't know i think that's what they call them but there's a lot of different vendors and then they have food and everything like that and it's mostly ran by hispanics um we love it down back home i mean a lot of people go there for the food and I go to this location just for the food as well. I'm gonna show y'all that a little later. Me and my mom just eye buying, looking at stuff. Cause I do not even wear heels. I just thought it was super cute and aesthetically pleasing to see all the heels color coordinated and things. And Children Place had a sale, y'all. I'm definitely gonna be stopping back up in here to see what they got for back to school for Zamir and Zayana. Bye. <laughs> 
Okay, y'all, we just left out of children's place. I'm gonna just wait till I get back looking at all the shoe stores because they got a sale and I'll probably just grab some stuff for Zayana because Dante's going to the sixth grade, okay? I'm trying to get him away from children's place, you know, um, turn up his swag, I should say. They don't even say that anymore. I was showing my age. <laughs> so, Zamir and Zayana can still shop out of children's place. If anything, I'll probably get bottoms for Lante out of there, but I plan on shopping elsewhere for Lante for the school year. I found some shoes I'm interested in. They put it on hold while I um, check out the other options. Okay, let me get off of here because my mama on the phone talking. <laughs> So my main thing when I come to the mall, I always go to each and every shoe store prior to making a purchase just so I can check out what everybody has to offer. And I didn't really see nothing in here. This is called JD. Um, I think it converted from finish line to JD or whatever because this used to be finish line. I'm not sure back home has you guys' finish lines converted over to JD, but I like it. Um, it seems like it has more to offer. It kind of gives me the vibes of Foot Locker. And um, I didn't really see anything in here, you guys. But I'll definitely be back later in the week, maybe for something for Lante. Now we're at Kids Foot Locker because at the Shoe Palace, I think it's called, I found some Jordan 6s that I want to get for him. So now I'm just kind of looking for something that'll go nice with it. Um, I had these ladies working for me today. <laughs> she had to give me the shirt off the mannequin. I had the lady going back and forth from the back checking all these sizes because they just didn't have the mere size but i finally decided on what i want to get him and then we're gonna run back to jd's not jd's back to the shoe palace to get his shoes and then i'm gonna go check out the food that they got in the seven mile area and that's what's different about living up here all the malls have like toy stores like this and like plush stores but just for kid items and stuff like that instead of having to go on Amazon. Ever since they took Toys R Us away it's been kind of downhill from there finding varieties of toy stores but this was the area I was referring to that kind of mimics Seven Mile Fair from back home. It looks exactly like Seven Mile Fair like I'm not giving y'all the greatest footage because I just don't really care for putting people in my camera but headed back to um children place grabbed a few items out of there that i seen that were on sale for zamir and i grabbed like some random shorts for latte then we headed over to burlington you guys and i was just looking at the decor and stuff because i'm ready to decorate i'm not gonna let this house sit and look plain i'm gonna actually put some art on the wall and put some decor around the house this go around and i want you guys to come along and watch me you know decorate and stuff and turn my house into a home okay y'all we up in burlington as you can see i got some stuff from children place and we purchased him some shoes and an outfit from kids foot locker um it's almost eight o'clock still need to go to walmart get the ingredients for the tacos so i said i'm not buying them no backpacks this year I'll be back with y'all next week because we'll have to come back and then I gotta finish my hair. I look crazy. <laughs> I know, and I love Tree Hut products. What flavor is that? Margarita and lavender. No, they sugar scrubs. Uh uh, I'll scrub my. It's not just, for, it's not for your face, it's for your, more for your body. But, just letting y'all know the process. Oh yeah, I bought me a new phone case and I got my screen protector replaced. Oh my God, how much is this? Oh. Yeah, and headphones. 
chair? He would love that. I don't know how much this is. This drive? You a lot of people took it from your ass. But I already got him something, so. But all I got him was a, something to draw with. And he can sit in his chair and draw. And I can go for his tab. Okay, y'all. I know my mirror is messy, dirty, or whatever. I just want to give y'all a close up. Come on, focus on my cap. I mean, on my new case. Where my phone? Like that's so cute, y'all. Yeah, y'all, about to get in the kitchen, make these nachos, and I'ma finish my hair. I kinda did, wanted to do a quick haul, but I think I'ma just do that separate, a separate vlog, or, you know, video for that. And so I wanna at least touch up a few more of these braids. I can't go to work with two fresh ass braids and the other are desperately screaming for help. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, but I'm going to edit it. I said edit it. I'm going to end it off here. If you could be so kind to click the thumbs up for your girl. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure your post notification bells are turned on so you won't miss any future uploads. And y'all know it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.